Okay, let's move forward, right? So now, uh, before we go to do the sizing, we need to introduce another concept. This is R. Uh, the equivalent P, uh, P MOS resistance divided by the equivalent N MOS resistance when they have the same size. Okay, so I have two transistors, N and P, but they have the same size. What are their equivalent? Uh, what, what's their ratio? I call it R, right? So R equals to the equivalent P resistance divided by the equivalent N resistance, okay? Which is equals to, they have the same voltage, right? So they both all go full VDD, right? Equal to ID set N divided by ID set P. Is this okay? Now, then all do we need to do? Just write the equation. What is, this is mu, ID set N is just mu N C ox, and then W on LN. And let's just repeat all the exercise we did before. VGS minus VTN, VD set N minus VD set N square divided by two. Okay, right? this is the current. And then how about for P? Mu P, C ox, I just copy, nothing special. Copy the same equation. Of course, here I have Vsg plus Vtp, right? This time I did not use the absolute value. Vds set P minus Vd set P squared divided by two. Is this okay? So is this gonna be different if the sizes are different? We can't use this equation. To figure out because the, this the is my definition, I define a quantity call out a, a quantity call out, which is when they have the same size. I'm comparing the resistance of two transistors, AMOS and PMOS, when they have the same size. This is just the definition. Do I answer your question? But if they are different sizes, we cannot use this, right? We have to use something else. If they're different size, then it's not called R. You can, you, you can still use this one, but they, we don't call it R. You can say the ratio of different size. Okay. Okay. Now, they are same size, right? So they are gone. Here. Here is VDD, right? And then how about this one? VDD minus uh, VTP, right? Uh, I, 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 this time I just put this into the uh, absolute value. Okay. Right, so with this, then I say that, okay, then now it becomes mu N divided by mu P. VDD minus VTN, VD set N minus VD set N squared divided by two, right? And then C ox is canceled, right? I did not mention that. VDD minus VTP, VD set P, minus VD set P squared divided by two, okay? Now we are going to make the same assumption. Assume VDD much larger than VTP or just VT, both. And also VDD is much larger than VD set, okay? Because of this R equals to because VDD larger than VTN, right? So this one becomes VDD. This becomes VDD. 
And then this term can be ignored also, right? Because we dd larger than we dz. So you get, get mu n, we dd, we dz n divided by mu p, we dd, we dz p. Okay, and of course we dd got canceled again. So this is the R when the resistance ratio of two transistors of PMOS and MOS when they have the equal size. And we can further, if you remember, we mentioned before, saturation velocity is just equal to the L times the E critical. Right? If you remember this one, this is the mobility. This is the electric field, not mobility. This is the velocity of the electron. This is the electric field and then they saturate. This is E critical and this is the slope. So the, uh, for a transistor that the length is L, L times the E critical will be equal to the VD set, right? And then now mu times, E critical, these two got canceled, right? Because they have the same length. It's just equal to the velocity. This is saturation velocity of N divided by the saturation velocity of P. So this is a new equation that we just learned. But, so this is the telling you what is the resistance ratio between the P and N is equal to the saturation velocity of N divided by the saturation velocity of P. But this one can have some confusion. The bow also have another definition. Remember the R, which is the uh, R that, that, you, that you use to calculate the Vm, which is saturation velocity of P times Wp divided by saturation velocity of N divided by Wn, right? So they are different. But we won't get confused. I will be very clear in the exam. But now the point is, we now know the ratio between the uh, PMOS and MOS resistance is equal to R. And this is the R, maybe I should write it better, not like a gamma. This, this is something we're going to use later. Okay, uh, I still have one minute, but I'll let you... Uh, And actually, I need to emphasize one more thing, right? Uh, then, what is the ratio between TPLH and TPHL? TPLH is 0 0.69 R equivalent of P, right, times N, I mean, of P times CL, right? TPHL is equivalent of N times CL. So do you see that this is equal to R? But of course, assume same size. Okay. Okay, any questions? I will stop here. If not, feel free to leave. 